Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded square A, D, E, F fully inscribed uh, in a right triangle uh, A, B, C as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the area of this uh, big uh, triangle uh, A, B, C is 486 uh, square units. The side length uh, A, B of this uh, triangle is uh, 36 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC, whose area has been given to us as 486. So let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times the base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this triangle uh, is uh, 36 uh, and the height uh, of this triangle is uh, AC. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. The area of the triangle has been given to us 486 uh, equals to 1 divided by 2 times base is uh, 36 uh, times our height uh, is uh, AC. Let's go ahead and simplify. So we got 486 uh, equals to 18 uh, times uh, AC. Let's go ahead and divide both sides uh, by 18 to isolate AC. So therefore uh, our AC length uh, turns out to be 27 units. So therefore uh, this uh, length uh, AC turns out to be 27. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 36, uh, 27 and we need to figure out uh, this uh, longest uh, leg uh, BC. So therefore let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets uh, 3, 4 and 5. And now we are going to multiply all these numbers uh, by 9 uh, across the board. Then our uh, new numbers uh, turn out to be 3 times 9 is going to give us uh, 27. 4 times 9 is going to give us uh, 36. And finally, 5 times 9 is going to give us uh, 45. So therefore, our uh, longest leg, uh, the hypotenuse, uh, turns out to be 45 uh, units. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, some of these uh, two angles, uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. So let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha in this big triangle uh, ABC. We know this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now in this uh, triangle uh, EFB, this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is uh, beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And finally, in this uh, triangle uh, EDC, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is uh, alpha. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, CDE is similar to this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion the ratio of uh, C, D and uh, D. Let me go ahead and write uh, down C, D divided by D, E is going to be equal to the ratio of these uh, sides uh, A, C and uh, A, B. Let me go ahead and write down A, C divided by A, B. And now let's make an observation. We know our A, C length is uh, 27 and our A, B length uh, is uh, 36. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this A, C by 27 and A, B length uh, by 36. And now we can see that this uh, fraction 27 divided by 36 uh, could be reduced to 3 divided by 4. As you can see in this uh, next step, the ratio of uh, C, D and D, E turns out to be ratio of 3 and 4. 
So therefore, we are going to have, uh, we can write uh, this one as C D equals to 3 times some constant K okay? and our D E length is going to be 4 times some constant uh, K as well. And now our task is to find the value of this constant K. Okay? So therefore our this uh, C D length turns out to be 3 times K and our this uh, D E length uh, is uh, 4 times K. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, in this uh, green uh, square its uh, side length uh, turns out to be 4 times k and we know that uh, the square has all side lengths uh, equal so this side length is equal to this side length uh, this one and this one uh, across the board so therefore all of its uh, side lengths uh, turns out to be 4 times k and now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole side length uh, AC is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual uh, lengths uh, 3K and 4K. So 3 plus uh, 4K is going to give us uh, 7 times K. And furthermore, uh, this uh, AC length is uh, 27 units as well. So therefore, we can write uh, 7 times K equals to 27. Let's divide both sides by 7 to isolate k. So therefore our k value turns out to be 27 divided by 7. And now let's make an observation. We know the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, 4 times k. And our uh, k value turns out to be 27 uh, divided by 7. So therefore I am going to substitute this uh, k value over here 27 uh, divided by 7. So therefore uh, the side length of this uh, green square turns out to be 4 times uh, 27 uh, divided by 7 and if we multiply this thing that is going to give us 108 uh, divided by 7. So thus the side length uh, of this uh, green square turns out to be 108 uh, divided by 7 uh, units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, square now. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to S square where S represents uh, the side length of this uh, square. And in our case our side length is uh, 108 divided by 7. So therefore the area of this uh, green square is going to be equal to 108 uh, divided by 7 whole uh, square. So therefore the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 11,664 divided by 49 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 11,664 divided by 49 square units and that is also equal to 238 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.